We've got a nor'easter that we're dealing with right now. You look at the radar. I'm giving you a wide perspective to show you how much rain is out there at this hour. Uh, if you're getting ready to head out, uh, I would stay home. I would definitely zoom uh, work today. And if I'm going to work, I would use public transportation because as I zoom in, you're looking at the nor'easter and you're saying, well, Byron, there looks like there's a lot of lift with this because I'm seeing yellows on the radar. You're correct. When you see these colors, that's pretty good updrafts and downdrafts. And that basically means you can get some heavy downpours and you can cause some local ponding on the roads, which would prevent you from wanting to drive from Queens over to Hillside. We make it over to Glendale. Now we're going over towards North Hempstead, East Hills. Uh, these, you know, this rain over Long Island, it'll get you soaked in about two minutes without the umbrella. All of this is moving from the ocean on the backside of the counterclockwise rotation of the low across the tri-state. So we're going to give you a bigger perspective. We're going to put this into motion and show you that it's well down to the south of us. And it's going to give us bands of rain. You may get a little break here in the next hour or two in some areas. But then you're going to get another wave of rain. And you can see the low is to the south. So that's bringing us the rain. And that's why there's a flash flood warning. And there's flash flooding occurring right now in parts of Jersey, Monmouth County's Middlesex, as you can see where the red is. That's through 815. I think this may be extended, though, by the National Weather Service. I don't think this is going to wind up for a while. We've got a flash flood watch for all areas. Now, watch the rain future cast. So we know we've got heavy rain right now in most areas. We've probably got local flooding in some areas, and we've got ponding on the roads in most areas as well. This is at 8. Now, this is the worst-case scenario. I always want to prepare you. Worst-case scenario. This model, and it updates. The HER model updates every hour. So it should get it right, right? Because it's updating all the time. It says here at 8, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan, over to East Orange, into Patterson. You see these reds here? That could be a little lightning, a little thunder. When you see reds, that's probably 20, 000, 20 to 30,000 feet. Moisture-laden air rising to those heights. It's got to come down in a hurry. Heavy rainfall, torrential rainfall occurs with that. This is through 10. So it's saying that we have rain, a good rain. Heavy rain, flooding rain possible, maybe even torrential rainfall possible, all the way into about noon. And then it starts to lighten up as you see the green. What I don't want to ignore is this. The North American model is showing you the magenta. And you know when I say magenta, that color alerts me to not only strong updrafts and downdrafts, like over Middletown, making its way into the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, about 1030. That pink tells me that you could see maybe even a tornado. We do not have anything that says that will happen, but anytime I see this, I say, one, it could cause a tornado. Two, it could cause flash flooding. I said that during Ida. Again, if you live in a basement apartment, if you get a buzz on your phone saying take higher ground, get out of your apartment, uh, that means that there is fl flash flooding occurring. So you see this. Estimate says somewhere between one to three inches already. Look at the rainfall totals possible through the duration of this storm. The storm's going to go till tonight, right? I said the heavy stuff is over maybe by lunchtime, and then it's, you know, five, six, seven. We're getting those bands and waves of rain, as I said, on the backside of the counterclockwise of the rotation of the low. Well, this is painting up to five inches through the tonight over the city. Winds are not that bad right now, but we're going to see down power lines and trees. We've still got leaves on the trees, right? And all this rain is going to make the leaves heavy, and you get some winds, that's going to knock some trees down. Wind gusts possible tonight, overnight into the morning hours, up to 40 miles an hour. Your temperatures, we're going to be where we are right now. We're in the upper 50s, low 60s. That's where you're going to be all day. Again, this is a day to stay home if you can. Uh, if you're going to come to work, definitely you got to use the public transportation. And